Hi guys, Extrasify here. Welcome back to another gold making video and another one of our 50 runs episodes. The series where we do a dungeon every single week. I run it 50 times and I save all of the rare and expensive loot that I received and show you guys the best items. And in this week we did the Scarlet Monastery. Now the Scarlet Monastery is a really quick, really easy run and there are a ton of great zone drops and world drops so with that out of the way let's go into how to farm it all right so when farming the scarlet monastery this really quick run basically you're just going to beeline it all throughout the dungeon killing all the mobs and head up to the very last boss just don't pill or kill the last boss because it takes like 20 30 seconds of rp in order to kill so i usually just don't worry about killing the last boss and for the main green transmog sets that we're looking for are the Silver Thread, the Glimmering Mail, the Infiltrator, the Pillager, the Battle Forge, and the Durable. And as for the Scarlet Monastery Zone Drop Blues, there's actually a lot of these. There's well over a dozen, but I'll go over some of the expensive ones. We have the Dream Slayer, the Fight Club, the Wind Reaver Staff, the Scarlet Boots, the Beguiler Robes, and the Butcher, to name a few, but there's like 15 to 20 at least. So definitely one of the better zones for zone drop blues. And then real quickly, a few nice world drops to look out for is the Orb of Deception toy. That one's always really nice. It goes for like 20 to 40k and it sells really fast. And as well as the world drop epics, there's quite a few you can get from here. The most notable, of course, being the Skull Flame Shield has a chance to drop from the Scarlet Monastery. And that shield's like 100 to 200,000 easily. And it looks really cool, so it sells pretty fast for transmog. So now that you guys know how to run Scarlet Monastery, let's get into the loot that I have received from 50 runs. Real quickly guys, if you enjoy my content and you want to support the channel, make sure to like this video. Make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you never miss my gold making tips and tricks. And maybe check out some of my other gold making videos. I post multiple videos every single week and we are growing real strong. So make sure you hop on board and join the community. Thank you. Alright, now that we got that YouTube promo stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into all of the loot I have decided to keep. So this is everything I decided to keep in 50 runs from Scarlet Monastery. Now in the past I haven't been the biggest fan of Scarlet Monastery just because I personally haven't had a lot of luck in here lately. But I would say this 50 runs really surprised me and I will definitely be back to do some more farming for sure. So let's start at the very bottom. Surprisingly I kept a few gray items. Um, I looted this Targe shield. It looks kind of lame, but it is a unique appearance, and for some reason it's worth a few thousand gold, so I definitely figured I'd keep that. The sale rate isn't too bad either. And then we have a double male coif. This is a <laughs> gray headpiece, but the price wasn't too bad on that. And as well as this one, the crossed stitched shoulders. These are actually a unique appearance, and they're worth 1 to 2k kind of high on my realm so I decided to keep those as well moving along there were a few patterns I decided to keep nothing real major in terms of patterns to look out for when farming the Scarlet Monastery but let's go over those so we got the pilfers gloves for leatherworking now this pattern it has a region value of about 1200 gold my realm 2000 so not bad there we got the pattern for the green silk pack these are Mainly just collectors for this because it's a bag, so you know, not many people are going to want to buy a vanilla bag these days. But collectors will definitely buy these patterns up all day long, and it's worth one to two thousand, so not too bad. We have the plans for the iron counterweight. This is a cla classic blacksmithing. It's not too great on my realm, but it has a region value of a little over a thousand. Which is our threshold when keeping items from these 50 runs is worth over a thousand gold. And then lastly, we have a nice pattern here for the Jade Serpent Blade. It has about a, almost 2,000 region value and a 0 .02 is very nice sale rate for that. So now let's go over some of the main green transmog sets that we looted over this 50 runs. 
Now we only got four zone drops, no world drops or epic world drops, unfortunately, but the four blue drops that we got were really, really nice. One of them in particular being awesome. So let's start with the lowest value one. We got the Harbinger boots. Now these are a zone drop of Scarlet Monastery, worth about five to 6,000 gold. Nothing crazy, but definitely not bad. I will happily take it. Moving along, we have the Sunblaze Coif. Now this is absolutely terrible on my realm. And um, yeah, I mean, it has a really high region value, but I don't see this selling for a ton of gold. Regardless of my realm's price, because it shares appearance with a lot of green, cheap mogs. Like the Glimmering Mail Coif is probably like no more than a couple thousand gold. Uh, same thing with that Golden Scale Coif you can see on my tooltip there. It shares the same exact appearance. So if people want to collect this appearance, you know, why would you buy the way more expensive one? So I don't see this one selling too much. So unfortunately, this is a little bit of a letdown. But nevertheless, you know, hopefully I'll get something decent for it. Moving along to an item that is absolutely amazing. We have the Beguiler Robes. Literally doesn't have any on my auction house. I don't believe this is a super item, but I haven't seen this on my auction house in a little while. So seeing this drop, I was so excited. It has a 35,000 gold market value on my realm and a 90k region value with a region sale average of 48,000 gold. That is really, really nice for a zone drop. And yeah, this is one of the better ones that you can get from Scarlet Monastery. So I was super glad when I got this one to drop. And lastly, moving along, we have the Butcher. Now this is a really nice looking sword. It's a unique appearance, which, which really helps with driving up the price and the desirability. Has a min bio very high on my room, uh, 59,000 gold and a region value of 30 to 40,000 gold. This was a really nice find as well, guys. I was very very hyped when this dropped as well. All right, guys. So as always in every 50 runs episode, let's hover over our bag appraiser add-on and see all of the looted item value from our bags in 50 runs. So dang, there we go, man. 267,487 gold in looted item value from 50 runs. Obviously the zone drop blues being the main contributors, the beguiler robes 91,900, sunblaze coif. Yeah, I don't know why that one's so high. I mean it 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 could go for a decent amount, but it's definitely dirt cheap on my realm of course. Uh we have the butcher for about 30,000, that's a bit low, and the harbinger boots for about 5k. Not too bad. And then the Elder's Amber Stay for about 3,300 gold there. Rounding out the top five. So very, very happy with that. Sunblaze Coif, I don't know why that's so cheap on my realm, man. That that bothers me, <laughs> honestly. But um, regardless, very, very happy with these 50 runs. And honestly, quite surprised. So I hope you guys give this gold farm a try if you're looking for a new transmog dungeon. I don't know why I said a new transmog dungeon. Um... It's a pretty popular one, but I guess just personally, I don't farm it very much, so that's why I said new. <laughs> so guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and check out this whole playlist. I upload a 50 runs episode every single Friday, so keep an eye out for that next week, and check out my other ones if you haven't seen those. And with that being said, good luck with your auction house sales, and I shall see you guys in the next gold making video.